Hey everyone, Walsh here with Thinline Defense. Welcome back to week three of our Zero to YouTube Hero Pistol Series. So we're gonna mix things up a little bit this week. We're gonna change up the training a little bit. And we're actually just gonna focus on the fundamentals and just add one layer onto that. So how we've been working on presentation, we're just gonna add the layer where we actually draw from the holster. On top of that though, we're also gonna be incorporating the red dot. So there's a lot of new things being added in this week. They're actually quite complicated. So we're gonna be watching a video from Tactical Rifleman on how to draw from a holster and, and the multiple steps that are kind of involved in that. A little more intricate than you may think. Um, and there's also a video from Colin Noir where he goes to Sig Sauer training and it actually has a lot of really good details on how you use a red dot and how to train into it. It's not as obvious as you may think. You're not just going to pick it up and having known how to use iron sights, just be immediately ready to go forward. Um, it's a lot less forgiving. Your form needs to be almost perfect. With iron sights, you can kind of present and if you're if your front sight's a little bit misaligned, you can kind of fish around for it and find it. Usually on the presentation, I can find it. With the red dot, I'm gonna show you uh, throughout my training, that's not the case. Your presentation needs to be almost perfect or you're just gonna draw and you're not gonna have any sort of red dot. You're not gonna have anything there. You're just gonna have a big blank area and you're not gonna know which way to fish and it's just not gonna work out for you. So you really, we're really, really, really gonna be working on the draw and the consistency. That's gonna be the key to everything we're gonna learn. So in the Tactical Rifleman video I'm gonna show you, he actually talks about how many iterations you should do and says about three to 5,000. So we're actually gonna make a goal for this week that I've already been working toward is to do 5,000 draws for this week. Now, we're gonna see if this amount of training translates at all into any sort of realistic skills on the range. So if we're gonna do it, let's go all out. So here we go. 5,000 times, but let's get into the videos and then kind of show you the intricacies and the details of what they've been teaching us. So let's get right into the videos. So the first one we're gonna be looking at this week is Tactical Rifleman and Fixing Common Shooter Mistakes Drawing from a Holster. Now, this video is actually very useful because it actually breaks down the holster draw into multiple different steps. And interestingly, the Call and Noir video is very similar. So we can see there's something to learn if there's two different instructors teaching the same basic technique. Um, so we'll go ahead and watch that video and then we'll break down that technique. And also from the Call and Noir video, we can see how it's important with the red dot that you work the consistency. So that's the biggest piece we're gonna be looking at. We're gonna be watching these two training videos and then focusing on the consistency. That will be the key piece for this week. We're gonna be doing this, as we talked about a couple times now, three to 5,000 times to really sink in this holster draw. Um, we're gonna see what that does for us in terms of actual learning and if that translates to anything really out on the range. Here's what I want you all to understand. When you're using a red dot, your presentation has to be amazingly consistent. Now, it doesn't really matter if your presentation is perfect, but it has to be consistent. Now, I say that, and I'll roll a little clip here. When you actually go to present the gun, it's very likely you'll present and not actually see the red dot. It won't be there. And interestingly, on the 507 I'm using, it's kind of like having training wheels because it has the circle and the dot within it. So the circle actually helps me to kind of see where I may have missed it because it's, it's actually a big, pretty big blob. Um, having just a red dot makes that significantly harder. So if your draw isn't consistent, your presentation isn't consistent the same every time, you're going to lose that red dot. So transitioning to a red dot is not the same as iron sights because you need to have that amazingly consistent draw because you won't have those reference points in which to correct very quickly. You're either going to have the dot or you're not going to have the dot. And as you can see in some of the training on the Sig Sauer video with Colin Noir, he actually says, if you don't see the red dot, do not pull the trigger. There needs to be a punishment for when you're training for when you don't see the trigger. So that's what I'm doing also when we're doing the laser hit training and when we're doing any of the actual presentation practice. If you don't see the trigger, if you don't see the red dot, then you don't get to pull the trigger. So that trigger pull is your reward and then you reset and go again. Um, as we kind of talked about, watching the Tactical Rifleman video, we see in order to drive this home, there needs to be about three to 5,000 iterations. So that is our goal for this week. We're gonna go for three to 5,000 iterations of holster pull, practicing, presenting out to that red dot. It doesn't really matter who you are. If you do it for three to 5,000 times, you're guaranteed to learn something. So we'll see what we learn. 
So I want to do just a little bit with laser hit just to see a before and after of what 5,000 repetitions of this uh, does in terms of any sort of time. So let's do it. It's only going to be this small portion at the beginning, and then we'll do a small portion at the end, and then we'll kind of compare those numbers and see what it does. It's much easier to see the red dot in this crappy lighting. Now I've been practicing a little bit. Let's kind of go over what I've learned and how I've been practicing based on the teachings they were showing us in the YouTube videos. So the idea is from the Colin Noir video, get sort of a chest reference point. It's all about consistency, so we're going to build consistency. We don't care really about making it perfect, but we want to make it the same every time. So to make it the same every time, we need the same contact point. Now, in the Tactical Rifleman video, he says we want to cover strike the pistol. So the first thing we do is try and come to the pistol as quickly as possible and then come to that same contact point. Come to the pistol as quickly as possible, and then as the pistol comes out, we want to immediately point the gun forward. So in case there was a target, we could immediately engage. We wouldn't necessarily want to want to come all the way up and then and then think about it over here and then do that number. So we're going to immediately come out so you could engage a target at this point if you really had to. Okay? We come up. Marry the hands because we've done this presentation. We've done this thousands of times already. This is where we want to get to. If we can get to this point, then it's just a matter of locking that in the way that the red dot wants it to show up so you can see it properly. But the only thing we've added is this extra step. So this is the step we just have to get to be the same, is getting to that point again, and then doing that a million times. It is more challenging with the red dot. If your consistency isn't perfect, you're going to see that immediately. I'll say here, part of what I want to do is do some practice here and show you red dots there. But that's not always the case. You, you're going to feel good about it. Red dot's not there. You're going to feel good about it. Be like, yeah, that's good. Red dot's there. And you're going to have to realize you're going to have to keep practicing until you get the red dot there every time. Red dot. So what we're going to do, we'll go through the Colin Noir video, and we're going to follow that SIG training that basically says the reward for us seeing the red dot is we get to pull the trigger. There's going to be no ammo in any of this, so don't worry about any ammo being around. Um, I am going to be training putting my finger on the trigger, going with the Tactical Rifleman video, where I'm going to load up that 80% as the hands marry, finger goes on the trigger, because at this point we've decided, as he said, flesh is going to meet metal, and we're going to put finger on the trigger and then proceed out. Now there's a time and a place where you don't want to train this way, and if you're a police officer, you probably don't want to build the muscle memory to work this way. So know what you're working for, train for what you're working towards, so that may not be applicable to you. But for what we're doing, here, learning from YouTube videos, I think it'll work just fine. All right, well, I'm going to get into 5,000 now, and I'll see you at the end of this. Now, I hope you all weren't thinking I was going to do 5,000 in one day. <laughs> it's time for a montage. One, two, three, four. Five thousand ish. Now let's go inside and see if we actually learned anything this week. All right, so here we are as a culmination, kind of seeing the laser hit. We did a little bit at the beginning. I will see at the end and kind of compare the two and see where we're at. See if there's any improvement at all. So, what did we learn this week? Well, we learned if you do 5,000 iterations of that, 
roughly 5,000 anyway, um, you can shave about a quarter of a second off your draw time. So I was really happy to see that I could go from two seconds and I was so clumsy at the beginning. Uh, it just didn't seem natural. I just didn't seem happy with it. Every time I drew the weapon, I, I didn't really know if the red dot was gonna be there or not. It really just seemed random at the beginning. And I will say that's the number one thing I learned. Probably about halfway through there, all of a sudden, things just started to click. And, I, and I'll tell you some things I was doing wrong that I would, you can correct yourself on if you try this. The big thing is halfway through it just started to click. All of a sudden the red dot was always there and then I was just locking it in. Then I was just repeating that same thing. I just had this confidence and that's like the biggest thing I will say I, I think I learned this week is I have red dot confidence. I know if I draw the weapon every single time the red dot's gonna be there. And let me tell you what I was doing incorrectly and this is very important. We talked about consistency and consistency is the key. It, I probably don't have the perfect draw but it doesn't matter, it's consistent. I can do it every time. When you put your hand here this hand never moves. This hand only rotates. This becomes your point of reference. This is the reference point. Because what I was doing at the beginning, I would draw and then I would meet I would meet the hand wherever it was at, which would cause the problem where all the consistency would be lost. Where if you stay right here, right on one point, you always bring the gun to the other hand and then marry them up. So when you do your actual presentation, you're always presenting from the same position it suddenly clicked and that, that was the magic piece I was missing where I wasn't just connecting my hands randomly in different places out in space. I was actually bringing it to the same spot and then bringing it out and presenting. So I really love it. I'm really glad I got this confidence. I feel so much better about the red dot. Like I can come from any position really and come out. It doesn't really matter if you're looking. You, I can come, I could just shut my eyes and come out and I know the red dot's gonna be right there because it's been done just so many times that there's really no question is it if it's gonna be there, it's it's just locked in. It's just locked into muscle memory. There it is. And if you have a red dot, I highly recommend you do this because then you become so much more comfortable. You can just, at any point, just know that your red dot is going to be there. So this was a great week, really. It was kind of a long week, a lot of training. Uh, long week though, very productive week. So next week, we're gonna do reloads. So that'll be even more exciting. So we'll do some drawing from the holster and then reloads from the holster and do the whole deal. So it'll be good. Thanks for joining me this week. If you have any uh, suggestions for things we do in the future, let me know. Thanks.